Hello and welcome to Eclectic Classes. Today's lesson is on Ethernet Twisted Pair Cable Types. This is the third lesson on Ethernet. Hope you have already gone through the first and second lesson in which we learnt about various Ethernet standards and their message frame format. If you have not gone through the same, kindly go through them. Links for same is in the description area of this video. Now let's start with current lesson in which we are going to learn about various twisted pair Ethernet cables. The physical components on an Ethernet network are connecting media which could be either of coaxial cable, twisted pair cable or optical fiber. RJ45 connector for connecting the cable to the node associated. It's a 8 pin connector as shown in the figure here. Node or host like computers, switches, hubs etc. Most popular connecting media is the twisted pair cable. A typical twisted pair cable used in Ethernet network consists of 4 pairs of copper wires. The 8 wires are colored as orange, white orange, green, white green, blue, white blue, brown and white brown. Initial twisted pair cable were unsealed but later sealed twisted pair cables were also introduced. Twisted pair may be broadly classified in two categories unsealed twisted pair cable UTP and sealed twisted pair cable STP. Unsealed twisted pair cable this cable does not have any type of metallic shielding. UTP cable utilizes the twist in wire pairs to limit signal degradation caused by electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference. Sealed twisted pair cable STP. These cables have metallic shielding. The shielding could be of foil type or braided screen type. STP cable utilizes metallic shielding for protection against the signal degradation caused due to EMI and radio frequency interference. Now let's go through some advantages and disadvantages of STP cables. If we speak about advantages of STP cable, they have better protection from EMI and radio frequency interference and they are more robust than UTP cables. Even on providing better signal protection, they have some disadvantages too. STP cables are costly due to extra shielding. They are difficult to lay due to the same shielding as foil or braided shielding result in reduced flexibility. Metallic seals must be grounded at both the ends otherwise instead of protection from interference they will start acting as antenna to pick up the interfering signals. They need a special STP connector although usual RJ45 connector could also be used for crimping the cable. Due to the disadvantages associated with STP cable they are not popular in use. STP cables are mainly used in Europe. Now as we are aware of the two basic categories of twisted pair cable, we can study the various types of twisted pair cables which are listed here. The decoding of the cable could be done very easily as the first letter stands for cable shielding, the second letter for wire label shielding and U stands for unsealed. S stands for braided screen shielding, F for foil shielding and TP for twisted pair. With this decoding structure, we can determine the cable type easily from their name. Here I have shown the decoding of four types of cables. U slash UTP will be unsealed cable with unsealed twisted pairs. F slash UTP will be foil sealed cable with unsealed twisted pairs. U slash FTP will be unsealed cable with foil sealed twisted pairs. S slash FTP will be braided sealed cable with foil sealed twisted pairs. A twisted pair could be classified on one more criteria of solid or stranded wires inside the cable. Both solid and stranded cable have different advantages. If it's a short length cable and we may need to move cable then stranded cable will be good as it will provide 
flexibility while solid cable will be more suitable for long distance permanent installation as it is not flexible but more durable due to the virtue of its solid nature now one more popular classification exist for ethernet cables this classification classifies ethernet cable on different parameters like shielding speed supported max bandwidth supported etc it classifies ethernet cables in different categories like cat3 cat5 etc this is the table in which we have enlisted various types of cat cable from this we can say cat3 cat5 and cat5e are only unsealed cable while cat6 could be either sealed or unsealed both cat6a cat7 and cat8 are available in sealed cable form only cat3 cable supports 10 mbps of speed cat5 supports 10 or 100 mbps speed cat5e and cat6 supports 1 gbps speed cat6a and cat7 support 10 gbps speed the latest most advanced cat8 supports 40 gbps speed for data transfer this was all about different types of ethernet cables on the basis of shielding conductor type and category hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and comment your views about the video i'll be back soon with my next video very soon thanks for watching and bye for now